Why do we suffer? That is the question we want to look at today. We want to answer that question. Now, there's a similar question um, that we will get to maybe in another video, and that deals with how do we reconcile God and suffering? Um, we can do that without any problem, but the question we want to answer specifically today is why do we suffer? I'm going to give you four points pertaining to suffering, and I'm going to answer the question why do we suffer? As usual, I'm going to go to the Bible to answer these questions. When we ask a question in a context of religion, which is what we're doing, we need to understand that the answer is always going to be God's word. It is not um, the philosophies of men. It is not my opinion. It is not uh, based on the uh, preconceived notions that we might have. It's not based on life experiences. We're going to answer this question with God's word as we ought to. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, God's word gives us every answer to every question that we need. All right. So we need to understand that part of the reason sometimes that we may suffer is because we make the wrong the wrong choice. God loves us. God has created us with the ability to choose to do right, which of course necessitates the the possibility of doing wrong. John 14, 15, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So God loving us so much, he created us in such a way as that we would be able to have a choice and then to make a choice. Okay, so sometimes as we're going to see in our first, uh, some of these points, that that choice has something to do with it. So point one, sometimes we suffer for our own bad decisions. Cain slew his brother Abel in Genesis chapter four. And because of this, as God interacted with Cain and was discussing these things with him, Cain understood that he would be a vagabond. He would be someone who's looking over his shoulder everywhere he goes because of his own actions in murdering his brother. Whose fault was that? That was Cain's fault. So sometimes, point one, we suffer because we personally make the wrong choice. Point two, sometimes we suffer because of the choices made by those around us. In Joshua chapter 7, there is an account after the destruction of Jericho in which an individual by the name of Achan he uh, decided to steal some of the treasures from that uh, city that were dedicated to the treasure of the Lord. He took some of these things, and a result of that, as you read down Joshua chapter 7, uh, because of that, the nation of Israel suffered a defeat at the hands of Ai, the, the city, and their military, and also um, Achan's own family. If you look down towards the end of, of, of Joshua chapter 7, Achan and his his uh, sons and his daughters, they all died with him because of Achan's choice. Sometimes we suffer because of the choice of others. If I decide to drink alcohol and I go out and I get into a car wreck and I kill myself, that was a choice I made and I suffer for it. If I decide to go out and to get in the car after I've drank alcohol and I kill your family member, you're suffering because of my choices. So we understand those first two points. Point three, sometimes we suffer for things and choices that have been made long ago. Um, I can think of a biblical example of this as it relates to this specific um, point in the book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers, if you remember in Numbers chapters 13 and 14, there were 12 spies sent to, uh, to, to check out the land of Canaan for 40 days. And as they came back, Joshua and Caleb gave, gave the, the right report. But the other 10 said, that no, we couldn't do it. So the result was um, the this nation of Israel believed the 10 spies. And they said, no, we can't do it. These people are too great for us. We can't overthrow them. And God, because of their decision, caused, their, uh, caused them to wander for 40 years in the wilderness, one year for every day that they were gone. So you have essentially that the children of the children of Israel, these individuals who were wandering around for 40 years, these individuals were wandering around for 40 years until essentially that, that generation before them passed away. So they were suffering for the decisions of their fathers. This is the, you know, the, same, uh, the same can be said for modern day. Do you know that there are people in uh, what we would consider uh, third world or perhaps they are in uh, uh, less civilized or less uh, economically uh, great countries. And do you know that some of the religious practices of these people don't allow them to eat specific animals? And do you know that some of these people starve to death 
because they, they won't eat these animals. And the terrible choice that was made in this country or by their grandparents in following this religion, yeah, that has that has long lasting implications, right? So we suffer sometimes because of our own choices. We suffer sometimes because of the choices of those around us. And then we suffer also sometimes because of the choice of others made previously. But I'd like you to understand a last point. Suffering can be beneficial. Uh, the Hebrews writer would say, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and having been heard for his godly fear, though he were a son, yet learned the obedience by the things that he suffered. Suffering can be beneficial to us. Peter would say in 1 Peter 1 and verse 7, speaking of the trial of your faith, it's like it's it's tried by fire, right? Uh, Paul would mention in Romans 5 and verse 3 that tribulation works patience. Suffering can benefit us by our endurance, James says in James 1 and verse number 12. So suffering, though not always our fault, can be, but suffering at times can be very beneficial. We can learn patience and we can learn, uh, we can develop strength and, and encourage to get through difficulties and then we can help other people do the same. I think about also from the from the concept of the character of a Christian, how are we're supposed to be merciful, aren't we? Well, how could we be merciful if there was never an opportunity to to demonstrate mercy? How could we be compassionate if there was never a need for compassion? How could we be benevolent if there was never a need to help someone? Do you understand that the, the character of, of a Christian is perfectly suited uh, in this life to prepare for eternity and to demonstrate that character in action, actions that could never be possible without the difficulties that we face in this life? How could we possibly... Uh, be merciful without an opportunity to be to to demonstrate this mercy. So just a few things to think about as it relates to suffering. We suffer because of our own choices at times, the choices of those around us. We suffer uh, perhaps because of decisions made long ago uh, by uh, someone in our family or someone where we live. And sometimes suffering can even be beneficial and it could uh, prepare us for eternity. So here are some things to think about on the, the question of suffering. Why do we suffer? Um, do you disagree with this? That's okay. You're welcome to email us at freeportcoc at gmail.com. You can comment on our videos or on our uh, uh, post that we put on Facebook. We would love to discuss it with you. If you have a question or something you want to be addressed, just email us and let us know. We'd be happy to help. Hope you have a great day and I hope that you would consider the things in this video and all things eternal. Thank you.